first match on Rio, too. And you see right there, I mean, both teams undefeated. Atlanta FaZe 3 0. A subliners 1 0. Someone didn't walk away with their first loss. Someone didn't stay undefeated. And here we go. Who's going to yes, make sir. it to our winner's final? A battle for a guaranteed top three. They go the distance last time. It's a BZ. Mr. First Blood, Mr. Opener, cracking them wide open with a triple and uh, not all four is Sib. Able to pick it up from there, but due to the play from BZ, you get a nice setup here early as Draza gets it going as well. Yeah, I think this is important for Draza, right? Didn't have the best series versus LA Thieves. Picked it up really on the second half, but he knows he's got to play better, and he has throughout Major 2 qualifiers. So he finds a nice double, but you get to flip if you're phased. You have 25 seconds. You're getting more and more. So this is the best start you could ask for. Yeah, I think one of the questions maybe with phase recently is, uh, I don't know, were they guilty maybe of playing down to their competition a little bit in some of these recent series? Will they turn it up when they're playing like a team like New York, or are they just flat-out vulnerable right now? All this we will find out pretty soon, I am sure, but uh, rotation up. Next hard point there. P2 locked and loaded for Atlanta phase. It's, they've got the spawns. They've got the control. Pressure on New York to try and break. Yeah, no, there you're going to go. Hydra with his first kill of the map, but that's going to start the push, but BZ is locked in. Finds a double. He's up to seven and four. So a great start here. Now you see where Celium is so far pushed up inside of Garage, just taking down two. And this is what teams are getting better at, controlling this P2, pushing out, layering the map, making this so difficult to break. And I think if there's anyone you don't want to allow to get going, like if you're in New York, you do not want to be easy to get going early. I, listen, he's been a little up and down at times of this title, but when he is on one, when he is winning entries, the game becomes very easy for FaZe. And, and again, finding the flip when they want it. You're giving up the good spawns if you were Atlanta FaZe, but you're setting up for P3. 10 seconds left. You're finally getting inside out of this P2 hill. Perfect hard point so far here for FaZe. Can they keep it up? A couple of players do spawn out though. So now it's on a BZ to recognize this. All of teammates are dead. So you do a good job if you are subliners responding and now putting the pressure on. Yeah, flip. Maybe it's a little bit too early if you're FaZe. You, you can't hold it long enough to set up for next, but a BZ is just sort of waiting, lurking, waiting to find the timing and the pounce when the rest of his teammates are ready to get forward, but it's Hydra that maybe starts things. Now a BZ is going to get ready to go. The pinch is coming through trying to find the opener. Draza takes down one. It'll be a PZ that then gets the second. So, and finessing his life. Not able to get away, though, because it's stunned. Yeah, he plays his life, but as soon as he gives up that spot, starts to push on forward. The back spawns open up. So, New York, the players off spawn. They spawn up close, able to layer on in. But I think, you, you know, you break that hill up. If you are Atlanta phase for New York, you find some time. Now you're down only around 40 and on rotation, which New York is so good at. Our number one rotating team in the league. They're going to be set up at P4. Well, to be four, we get ready to go. Uh, you claw back a bit of your sub blinders. Now a chance to really answer, maybe get a lead change if you can get a solid hold here. One lurking towards mid, that's gonna be Sib, and maybe you can play the disruptor, but here we go, you're getting close and personal real fast if you are phased. The flank coming through though, it's Sib with a chance to break this up, doesn't finish the first, checks the wrong corner for the second. So still a presence here if you are phased, is Draza with two. Yeah, he's able to stay alive inside of boxes was Draza. There was a lot happening on the map just based on those pinches. But behind Draza is two, locking down boxes, and he's able to find a third Sib off the of spawn. So he's going massive for his team. That is where the push starts. He's on five in a row. He's draw, selling him now inbound, showing a little extra love, which you know he likes to do. <laughs> there is a break for FaZe. Yeah, he said, I'm just shooting everybody's body now. It's basically where he's at currently. His Simp is sending it forward with a multi, but we'll keep an eye on Draz. There it is, number six. He's able to get that cruise, stuff that in the back pocket, and you're doubling up your opponent now. Looking at a 120-60-ish advantage, but another chance for subliners early, but an early presence here, and an opener from Draws once again. Streak now up to seven, surviving in the pocket and looking to pounce over the top. He goes, streak up to eight before he finally drops. Yeah, you had Kiz and Hydra just coming roaming around middle of the map. They weren't exactly sure if they wanted to pinch or not, so they decided to go back to top bridge, but they are cut down. So another break comes through for Atlanta phase. You don't see this often. Hydra, a slow start here. Six and 13, able to find one. Make it two headshots in a row. Maybe they get going. Almost snaps onto a third, but sell him. He's going to win those. As well, they're just trying to fight their way back into the game. Yeah, probably another reason you really don't want a BC to get going early. <laughs> going to make somebody's like Hydra's job a little bit more difficult. But it's Simp now looking to pounce, getting the angle, taking the fight. 
but not quite finishing off the second. So lead still hovering around that 60 point advantage with 10 seconds left to go here as we get ready to get back and into our second set of rotations. Joe, what are your biggest takeaways throughout that first set? Well, I mean, I think just the first couple of hills for FaZe were perfect. And then, you know, it could have got a lot worse for New York, but they were able to bounce back. But the, the break there at P5, I think mean, that's the difference maker for Atlanta FaZe right now, why they hold this a large lead. You had a couple of chances if you were subliners, maybe to tie the game up, but the breaks are on point. You know, I mean, you just look at the slang right now. Draws leading the way, trying to find number 20. He still has the cruise. When is that going to come into play? But it feels like he is locked in. This is a great start here for Atlanta. Listen, despite, he, even though he had like a 9 and 27, like triple negative map, he still had like a 0.85 and was right there on the damage watch with the rest of the team. Like, he still battled back so he can be resilient. He can show what he's capable here as he's plus 10 as well. But some solid time and maybe spawns currently for sub on for the next hard point. If you're Kismet, you're at least able to take out a BZ. Make sure they can't fly forward, but pushing through once again. It's going to be the pressure from Draws. Trying to get the openers for them. Make this staggered early on. Set things up maybe for Sip to make a play. Yeah, and then Sib now just playing his life. When does that cruise come into play? Sib, though, he's going to be on the cop car position. Nobody in the time for now. It's sort of a battle over this position. Sib into the hill, and maybe that's when you use the cruise. So we see this, but uh -oh, look at Kismet, uh -oh, number uh -oh. one. He's going to find him inside. There is a quick train, so you still have the cruise inbound. Finds a teammate. It's a little messy, but it will lead to a break and control for FaZe. Yeah, first I thought I was like, what a read. I thought he was picking a mid <laughs> for the push coming through, but no, it was to get mid and call the streak. But you survive it, you find a floor kills behind that now and sell him. He's on three in a row. You're pushing this lead out once to, once again as it's gotten up to 80. Sip trying to push out Garage Drive, maybe get forward and awkward timing there as he will drop, but this is great time on a P2 that can be tough to find it. Yeah, again, what, what FaZe is doing here, getting a player out Garage, other teams need to try to copy. I'm sure they try to, but they have done it so, so well here on the main stage to start the day. Now still that 90 point lead on rotation. You will have kids all the way in the back corner on the hill will be Sib. So a nice setup here, but it's been the phase breaks. Can New York cash in on an early setup? We'll see if they can do it. Cell still showing love. And now trying to track back Simp with the opener, trying to give them numbers. Simp for Sib and Hydra and Kismet, all able to find kills. You needed that wave. You needed it desperately. As you said, you got to get time here if you are subliners. But it's FaZe looking to go for the jugular. Close this one out. Take advantage in this best of five to the comms now with Atlanta FaZe. Honestly, during the listen in is where you come roaring back if you are subliners now down 30 and you kind of heard them on phase like let's slow it down really set up this break is they're trying to get forward get through to the hard point nobody in for now it looks to be efficient trades across the board not many left around the hard point one player left and draws it's able to clear him out of it a snapback from draws it gets him to six another cruise now to use it's draws is lighting up the map 34 and 19 out of big draws yeah it feels like they needed this because kismet really got yeah, going he's on a 30 bomb he hits a p3 and p4 sort of combo to get new york back yeah. into the game yeah. 
Only down 30 now is Atlanta Phase with the extra crews to work with. Just with, this is exactly what you want to see from Draza. Really starting to take over. Selium now cutting him down from up top bridge. No, he just bailed them out. It felt like it was unraveling, right? Like wheels coming off. They're starting to struggle. Then draws a brilliant individual moment. One away from streaks is sell. You already have one to work with. If you are draws, Simp is making plays. Finesse in his life. Well, hop away from Cell for now is no gunfight looming for him to get that final kill for the streak. But you're in the point, you're set up, you've got mid-map control. Can you hold? Sip now on four in a row. Everybody from base finding their moment to erupt and take over, but New York get through on the break. It's the Bulldog and Kiz able to get two, but you answer right back if you are phased. Yeah, I mean, Kiz has really been the only one finding those multi-kills for New York. Three seconds away is Atlanta phase. Trying to stay undefeated up to 5-0 oh on this Rio hard point. Kismet stays alive, though. He's keeping this game going for now. He's trying. He's been the guy to do it, but that will seal it. Faze start hot. Finish strong, but it is draws that goes nuclear in map one. Well, this is what we saw with this map set, right? You know, not taking Skid Row. That is what they beat them online. It was open. The one map that they did not pick. They opt to go for Rio, and you can just see how strong Atlanta phase is. And I think, I mean, listen, New York, they just start out a bit slow. When you look at these stats, it's really Kiz who, you know, was popping off, making plays, going on sprees, the multi-kills going his way. It was just a little bit too late. Yeah, and uh, no, you said like that four and five, it starts to get a little bit scary. They start to bring it back if you are New York subliners, but Draza, moment after moment going huge. 6,026 damage, 35 and 23, 24 non-traded, just a brilliant map. I think, you know, it was a strong start from Abizi. You had some big multi-kills late from Simp, some nice stretches from Sally. Like, everyone had a good big moment, but... Draws is the one that stands out, man. Well, yeah, I mean, he bailed him out with that that last streak. Absolutely. Right? I mean, over towards P5, because you were set up if you are subliners, but it's a multi-kill. He pushes forward, able to read the spawns, finds the rival, the MCW, was doing it with everything. But it was a great start for Atlanta Phase. They kept that lead. They held on to it. It did get a bit scary yeah. through the second set of rotations. For sure. But they were able to hang on. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's just an individual play that bails you out. Well, as my good buddy uh, Sam LaRue said, you know, uh, weeks and weeks ago, like, it was what, after Rocker beat Ultra on Rio, Rocker beat Optic on Rio, he's like, no one's playing them. FaZe will keep playing it, though, because they look solid. They come in and kind of smash them, make it look easy. Like, they are a very good Rio team, so maybe it bites you a bit here, but it's going to be a tough choice. It always is. When you are teams like this that both have wide map pools, you're picking your poison sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else may challenge them on this map the rest of the, the weekend. But yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll see. We'll yeah. see if that keeps up. But yeah, you, you just see, I mean, anytime you get a fast-paced map like this for Atlanta Phase, they're, they're going to be good at it. And this was sort of that ending moment where you hit Cell up top bridge. He goes on another spree. Simp with some great plays, great finesse, avoiding the stuns, playing his life. <laughs> but the struggles for FaZe versus New York has been in the S&Ds. That's what we saw. They lost both of them last time they matched up. No, it certainly, it certainly has been. We'll get ready for the surge. But uh, what during the listening, uh, it was a little tough for me to hear it, honestly, at times as the crowd was going when New York was rallying back. But a few things, like, you know, you heard some frustration. But, dude, I love how busy <laughs> sort of his, like, when he slowed down, was like, I'm going the whole way around. Like, you kind of heard. I'm going to take, yeah, take a route, basically. And then just the final line before we came out, it take our time. We need a break. It, they saw it getting away from him. And sometimes I think in hard point for these guys, last year especially, the late game moments like that, they didn't take a breath. They let it get away from him. All those close games they lost over these past couple of years. Yeah, it's just you, you probably don't want to have to make a crazy play from no, Draza. you probably right? don't, yeah. yeah you, you probably want to rotate there earlier uh, and get a setup in, but does it really matter? They get the victory in map one. But now's where it gets interesting. Terminal S and D, similar to map, the map one choice here for New York. For FaZe, it's like you have something planned because New York, they are the specialists when it comes to Terminal S and D. They're undefeated on this map. Has there been anything specifically about them you think kind of separates them from the rest of the pack where they've been so, so good on this map? I mean, their retakes, right? Just their defenses, how well they play it. I mean, Kiz and Hydra here, this is where they really do shine, uh, especially Kismet. We saw it the first day versus That Boston. 1v3, right? Yeah, I mean, the guy has all the reads, but I just think you talk about the retakes. They, they're all about it. They'll give up map control, take the four on four. 
Well, we'll see how the retakes go for him in this one. Yeah, you're definitely wanting to get a little bit of revenge here, maybe in the search of your phase. I mean, CDL over the course of the five years, more often than not, I feel like they've been considered the best search team. Yeah, there's been some lulls and poor stretches, but you know, you lost both. I'm sure they're wanting to get one back if they can, but you've just been so good if you are subliners. It's been their bread and butter and looking to keep you going. Yeah, nine and two throughout stage two. Phases search on a couple of maps. I think really what you're looking at is a high rise in invasion where start to fall off a little bit. Uh, I think you go one and two in both of those online. So those get a little bit worse, but you have such a deep map pool, still seven and four solid for them. But you see that conversion rate, 83% for subliners after they find that first blood they're turning it into wins well we'll keep eyes on the first bloods we'll get ready to head to the airport terminal coming up we continue on in this best of five a wild day of action ahead of us if uh, the first series is any indicator crowd is packed we're building for some beautiful call of duty the rest of this weekend we got 10 seconds left to go, and we're hopping right into this one. It's a winner's round two match, fighting for top three, a birth in a winner's bracket final. Here we go. Search and destroy up. As you talked about Kismet and his ability, you see the stats there from him. Can the Bulldog get going, or will the first Blood Lord and a BZ be the difference? Yeah, you've only played this one time. If you are phase, you're sitting at 1-0, but it, it's obviously a map you veto a majority of the time. So the thinking is here, right? You've been working on this in scrims. You have something special planned for subliners. Know how they like to play it. Or is, I'm not playing high res anymore. Yeah, that, there's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, are the, what are the two, I'm sure? But we'll see if they've got some secret sauce. It's Kismet in the position he can be so lethal just playing for info playing his life there's the information now you have to make the adjustment and react if you are subliners number seven deep security as we simp that's going to deal with the two they're trying to push through but they're trying to double team him kismet dealing with the other three members of phase so kind of a two on one on one side and the three on two here towards the side sim damage in is trying to finish it but you buy enough time staying alive then it leads to a kill a bz just laying on his belly yeah i mean that's just it you buy enough time and then simp he's able to find the players on the flank and there we go kind of uh, waiting for it but i just think you're hoping to, if you're sib you know as soon as you start shooting you got to get out give your team the the life advantage instead it takes so long that gunfight to find where abizi was to hit the wall bang where there's an easy trade it just looked like awkward from his yeah, POV it where it's like i don't want to be here anymore but i gotta finish well it. it's just one of those situations where you're ready for the next kind of movement right you know you're trying to get out yep just thinking a step ahead, and that cost him. It certainly ends up costing him. Sell. Nice run out of him with two. Great job from Simcon staying alive when he was about to get two on one, too, with the security push through. Watching the B side defense for now, 2 2 split and set up for a phase. And spreading out right now with subliners for information or a pick, and the pick comes through. It's Sim able to drop one. Yeah, a bit of an off angle there. We've seen them use that spot. Hydra likes to use it, you know, watching the flank, waiting for the pinch. But it turns into a first blood cell, trying to even things up. But Sib is ready for it, ready for the next gunfight. Maybe behind that with how weak he is, but he's ready for both. Sib doing such a good job while that's going on. They're going to get active play inside because they have info. They know there's just one player on the opposite side of the map going to be Draza for now. Draza lurking underneath for now, but everybody here, he's got three players this side to deal with. Backing up to get to the action will be Sib. Draza's Fox starting to get planted. In. Draza gets in. He's finally able to pounce and be in the low man here. He's being massive. He's able to get two. It's looking like respawn all of a sudden. He's making the plays, but suddenly in his cell. Last alive. 20 to go, but he got to get this bomb planted, and Sal's going to spot. Get the rips in, but can't finish it. So it looks like this plant's going to be going through. He just doesn't know where the other player is. Now he does. And yeah, now he does. Now he's oh, going to the Tries to use the movement to pop Ooh. up, but Sim goes massive in this round to tie us up. I mean, Draza brings it back for phase, but the numbers were there. Yeah, I mean, Sim's first blood, and then Cell was shouting him. Like, he kept just trying to push it back. And, like, Sim's like, I'll give up five feet. I'll give up five feet. Once Sim kind of laid him out, just using the environment is prone at the table. Cell's thinking maybe he's running away. He's going to catch him. Great job from Sib. First blood and playing his life immaculately. Yeah, it really was just all Sib in that one. He finds three in the round and that first blood phase. I mean, they almost had the time. I think it was Hydra who was a mid-haul. 
He wasn't watching the jet bridge, and that just allowed Draza to sneak on up, but they dealt with the damage. And this is kind of what I was talking about. They will just give up this beat bomb. Normally, that doesn't happen, though. Sip with the first blood. So now with bomb planted, it's not going to be equal numbers. A chance here for FaZe. And that should be a kill here for a BZ. Yeah, he get the information the second he shoots. You're lurking on the other side of the AC. You have massive numbers here, and they keep increasing. Is a big round and answer now from Sip. Oh, my. It's three for him as he's shooting nukes. Quick answer to the massive round from Sib. I mean, how many times have we watched subliners on this map? And you look at the top three. Who's the first man putting shots on the player's top SCs? Ooh. It's normally Sib. Right up top AC, putting shots in, maybe finding a pick. Instead, right off the break, Simp able to find the first blood. Saw Skies just trying to catch one, does not happen. So it's Simp on one side, Sib on the other with four. And Hydra human so far in this one. The map one a little slow to get going. 0-3 here, but at any moment, like a lightning strike, he can erupt and take over. We'll see when that moment may come. One of the best at lurking on this map, the plays through book he's capable of. But it's offense and it's aggression. Right now from Subliner, Simp on three in a row. He is holding. They're trying to shoulder it. I thought maybe he had a premium oh, first. the wall bang. Wall bang's in, 41 damage. Nate comes through. Can he take out one? He's at least able to do that. Draws it from the back. Gets one is two. So you gets one two. So you go two for one if you're Atlanta phase. You take that all day. Yeah, but again, Simp finds another pick. You know, he's just lurking burger. So he turns this into a two on two. Once again, such a huge play. A BZ though this time. He's just playing his life with the MCW. Back and forth we go. We aren't snaking, but we're definitely popping up and down as these players are going to reposition. You can dance, Joe. You just can't dance too much. <laughs> Sib, 1v2. 35 to go and working his way up. It'll be Draws and Abizi trying to bring this back. Can you get out after the plant? Quick answer is no. Draws there. And another round to Atlanta phase. Yeah, just those first bloods. I mean... The fact that Simp's able to find one, he gets wall banned, he gets stunned, but he just holds his ground. Has Draws looking over him? I thought for sure maybe they catch him repositioning, but does not happen. Yeah, I just, yeah, after he gets, well, he hit for what, 40, 50 damage after the shoulders and the wall bang, the stun hits. Like, I'm thinking he's probably not getting one. I'm hoping you get one or two if you're Draws, but yeah, the fact he's able to get a kill. Huge in that scenario. Not not fun, the gunfights when you're stunned. <laughs> but 3-1 edge now. 5-1 and one for Draws. Great series from him so far after the massive map one. Yeah, it's been the first bloods here for FaZe on, on offense. Le leading the way. They're going to go right back up to B. This could be a very quick round. The three-man stack for now for New York. Trophy gone. Zib climbing the ladder. Abizi finds the first shots. Now starts all the trades. And as you said, that trophy is gone. Another one takes its place. And well, Draza in the position, finessing. And there buys enough time. Selian looking over him. Always one more player here for FaZe. They trade efficiently. You're into the 2v1 now on Kiz. A spectacular 1v3 on this map yesterday. Really turned the tides. And we thought, oh, sorry, on Thursday, when we thought they would be in trouble. Do you have another one here? He does not cut down on the cross. Faye's starting to roll in this map, too. Yeah, and they play that pretty, uh, obviously, you're very separate if you are Cell and Simp, but Cell doesn't over overcommit. He repositions all the way back. Burger just kind of waiting for where Kismet wants to go. But Simp able to find him. This is the same hole you saw yourself in, one, one to four against Boston. A little bit of a different team in talent and search and destroy when you talk about Atlanta phase, but you're very familiar with comebacks in this scenario. As much as 48 hours ago, can you do it again? Can you turn it on? The belief system's got to be there, but honestly, it's just no life out of anybody but Sib right now, really. <laughs> Everyone's struggling. You need a round. You need one now. You got to get it done on offense. Is once again... They're working the triple hit towards that. Now you only have one player this time through, though. Will be draws, and now maybe a reposition from Sim. He's there quick, yeah. There is those shoulders. Going to go for the chow with Skies, but now it's going to be all about under the plane, but that's where draws it does get found by Sib. Yeah, he gets dropped. I'm guessing Simp was spotted as well, probably. A BZ now rallying over. So it'll be the Tiny Terrors. Kind of in position versus three. Another big gunfight win there for Sib to give them huge numbers in this round. Good luck, yeah, between a rock and a hard place. I'm not sure how he's alive. Finally, he will fall, fall easy alone, and 
You needed this one really bad. If and you were in New York, you get it done. I mean, Sim finding picks. Yeah. This is one of the yeah. better s and we have seen from him just individually, where he is making plays by his lonesome. The push time and time again here for subliners is through the plane. But he's just been watching the flank, working Book and Berger, picking them apart. He's got one of the cleaner shots in the game. Yeah, I mean, he's got the information. He's taking a one-on-one. -on -one. Even against the best in the world, Sib, good chance to win it, and he's doing that here. Seven and four now. Sensational map, but still rounds to claw back into this. Any more adjustments or anything maybe subliners need to do, you think, to get back in this? I mean, it's just the, these first bloods, right? That's that's all it is. The phase, as soon as they find one, they know exactly where the rest will be. So it's two good search teams capitalizing on what they should. Yeah. You've got a hard counter here. If you're subliners. It is basically everything with eyes towards A, playing a retake over towards B, and this is going to be an A hit for FaZe, so they're going to be headbutting here soon, and that's not the way you typically want to start it. Selium rips off a BZ's head, but Draz, you get fortunate, he brings it back to a 3v3. Yeah, and he's ready for the next one. Draz is just so familiar with NYSL and how they want to play this, and after that, Cell finds both. From the team kill, and then it is all Atlanta phase. The ARs take over the round. Not a lot of reps when you talk about the matches. The best search and destroy, maybe for New York. <laughs> you said they probably came in prepped. It's looking that way, Joe. I mean, that's the only reason why they picked it. I'm like, sitting here, all right, we're playing terminal. You don't see that very often well, for tell, phase. Tells you something. Like, they feel good about it. And yeah, lots of VOD to go over of subliners and they are making it work. Draws and sell, get all in the round. One more round, match point here for Atlanta Face. Back to the defensive setup with two players over at A. It'll be Draws and Sim working together. You know, if I'm a beast and sell here, it's just sort of either chow this together or don't get picked apart by Sim. It's the only rounds that they have won is that man kind of carrying the way. Back to the same setup, Skies Kiz starting to work over towards A. Yeah, he's got more than the, the other three combined. That's, well, you yeah. do have a timing here from Kismet. Did he get spotted? It looks like he did. So I think his cell was coming down the SCs. He's going to get found out. They're ready for him. First blood for Dross. Dross continues to have a series taken over in this search. I mean, one second quicker and he's fine. But Selium was rotating bottom, just able to spot him. Just a game of angles and line of sight, and yep, the spot turns into a first blood. They've been capitalizing on the first blood, just got to do it one more time, and this map is done. Sell more information as he spots Hydra. That'll lead to the kill then for Abizi. The information game has been all advantage for Atlanta. Phase draws, tax on another. Sid, the hero, left alone, but can't do it. And Sell! <laughs> oh, I know that's a little bit of extra love. That's all my ammunition love. Oh, now he's sticking his gun in him. Well, he's just spanking him. Oh, yeah, a little spank. Naughty boy. I mean, he was shooting well. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Atlanta phase. In control of the series up 2-0. Oh, I was, they're still trying to get Joe's attention. I realize you guys weren't in the same yeah. shirt, Joe. Hey. Not great style, <laughs> Looking that good. Guy. That's yeah. true. That's true. Hopefully there's someone out there who's bought this outfit as well. Probably not in the whole world, <laughs> Joe. Uh, might be the only one that... No, I'm a, I'm a native Florida man, Joe. Yep. Wrestling alligators by day and commentating by night. But what a map there. Draws Again. is having... A series, 10 in four, leads the way in damage. Map one was incredible. His mentions on Thursday were, listen, he, you Probably know how it's going to be. He, he's got a loud mouth. He's always going to get it, but times when he's the back of his game, he's doing it right now. No, it's really it. And I, I think if you look at sort of stage one and the way he played search, probably wasn't happy about it, right? But I, I mean, this is what we were excited for when Draws was added to this team because there's those rounds when Cell gets a team kill and Draws is like, screw it. Like, I'm going to jump out and get the, get the next kill on a Kiz. I'm going to have a, a great idea where that next challenge is coming from. Just his ability, his grind to this game where he knows exactly every single situation. You're starting to see it here. No, oh, I mean, if it, the big thing was the bailout and the hard point. It's a couple round bailout you're able to do. He almost had the other one earlier in the game where yeah. he got two that almost bailed him out of a round. It's been uh, some spectacular stuff so far for Draza and Atlanta Face. You're up 2-0. Last time they played, though, we went the entire distance to a map five. New York now, world champs from last year have got to show their resilience as they look to fight back, get this crowd riled up and make a run or to phase end it 
right now. We get to the math three after this quick break. your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Welcome back, and away we go. The action continues on, but a shout out to Sandman Beach Art as we get ready to go. It's called Duty League on the beach and in the venue. Mm, that's dope. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just imagine me behind that uh, young drip god that I am. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I mean, I can't draw probably our logo on a piece of paper. No, no. Uh, ever since uh, computers came to existence, my handwriting is atrocious. Yeah. Joe, I can't do much of anything with my hands. But now we get ready for the map three. Uh, so talk to me about this. Listen, you have two very good control teams uh, with very few losses. Uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, I mean, if you're in New York, obviously you're very comfortable in control. I mean, you look at the last, well, stage two. Outside of Karachi, you're undefeated. So we're going to high rise. They've been solid here. On the other side of the map, it's a great map for Atlanta phase. Undefeated on the year, sitting at five and zero. Oh. But I think if you're New York, you're just trying to get somebody else going outside of Sib and Gisbon from the maps one and two. 
Do you get a little bit more from that superstar in Hydra? And a lot of times, listen, when this Atlanta face team is at their best and you're winning tournaments is when they were the best control team in the world. And right now you have been lights out in the mode. You've gotten back to where you can play anything. Yeah, your only slip up was versus Thieves the other night. Yeah, and, and, but Invasion is the one that sometimes teams want to play because that's the 50-50 one. It, it is. That's, that's a, your stinky cheese sometimes will be the Invasion control. But the other two, they can be lights out. But here we go. See the face can close it out. Or New York, do you muster up something to battle back? Reminder, this is a winner's bracket match. So a loss here is the team still continuing on and fighting throughout today and tomorrow. But God, you'd love that winner's bracket final and a guaranteed top three if possible. BZ nearly the recenter, but Siv drops him. <laughs> yeah, Cell's having some fun. He's locked in, but his teammates are dropping around him. Able to find a second on the Siv, or at least some shots coming on through. As he is finessing Kismet off a of spawn. While this has been going on, though, Siv still shooting. So Cells had like a thing each year. It, it, what, what, last year or the year before, it was no free kills, like no easy kills. Even with online scrims, like he never wanted to be the hardest death. Now it's I shoot everybody, I, I guess. I think he does that a lot more in scrims. Maybe not uh, in, in the matches that we see, but yeah, that's just <laughs> Cell. As you've only gotten one take, starting to work the second one. It's only a one a life disadvantage right now for New York. As the trophy start to come up now though for FaZe. Cell trying to get back and get involved, able to do it, slides on through, takes the gunfight. And as the trophies come online, now you start to be able to focus the objective a little bit cleaner. Cell tries to be that hard kill, but it's clean headshots through for Kismet. A BZ though, sort of the equalizer there. So the fact that he gets two after two drop, at least you kind of make sure you're not all four pinned back and maybe getting held in for a bit. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, he kind of finesses that, right? He gets onto the point and then just kind of finds a time. His team shots are coming through. So maybe finds a weak player or two, getting aggressive with the rival. You have one player draws on A to pause the clock. That's gonna divert some subliners over towards that point. While that's going on, the other two players starting to work over towards B. Try to get it done on offense. Strike early if you can. Players dropping now. One person really threw on the flank. Hydra at least able to get one. It's Kiz that's trying to play spoiler. Now the gig is up. His position is known. You're aware of where everybody is, nice but day. not the nade soaring through the sky. An instant response though from Draws. An ability to stop the clock and get the extension minute on. As Draws, is he just like the human bailout over the course of this series? Yeah, I'm surprised Skies doesn't challenge. I him. thought he was, I mean, right? <laughs> there's just not a lot of time left. Skies decides to just lock down behind the elevator. So they're just going to try to reposition, get map control, and they have out. it for now. Yeah, it works out. It works out, but yeah. yeah. Maybe one of those situations he's worried if I get gunned, Draws has been off, then like it's an easy transition across and we lose the round. I yeah, could just be that, but. With the life disparity, it is all tied up now as New York have stabilized. We're going to play a little, play a little TDM, I think, for a moment here. 7v7 seven seven now, 50 seconds to go. Every gunfight is crucial. BZ can't finish it. It's a little bit of wiggle. Comes through for the rival. No respawns remaining now. This will do it. This is where your playmakers need to be, that. and God, it is awkward. <laughs> what are the chances to fight low on the catwalk, and it's Kismet that gets the kill. From a 7v7 to a 6v3, it is beautiful from New York, and these clutch moments, Draza, head, clean off. Kiz has only got four, but there's been some kills for him, that's for sure. Yeah, just right here, right? When you have four Ooh. lives remaining. Here we go, New York. Kiz finds the opening, too, and yeah, I think just a round to... Get some confidence under your belt, stabilize, calm things down in the comms. But Siv, he continues to shoot the snaps onto phase. And that, cause that's, I mean, that's a read. If BZ gets through with Daddy there and is able to pop and maybe make a play, who the hell knows how that goes. But Kiz with the play and the instincts. Yeah, you keep it messy if you are phase. Sim Kiz not with the best rounds, but we know how rise can be a bit of a blender. Everybody else pretty even. They, get, they start offense first and can't capitalize, but they push them. They get some done on the objective. Now, subliners, what are you capable of? Kids with some plays late, looking to make some plays early. 
He's been pushed up to the base. The timing not going to work out, though, as he's caught Sprenton and draws, puts him down. Everybody drops it. Now this is where the trap might be on. You try to get the position for FaZe. How long can you hold him in? A tough gun fight went for Cell. Sent there with the help. And this might get ugly for Subliners quickly. It's not looking good. Yeah, I mean, it just stems from getting Kiz out of your base. I mean, the fact that Draws is able to win that gunfight must have had the intel, but he snaps. And now, as you said, it is Cellium inside the attacking of base, trying to find any kills he can. They almost line up. But behind Sib and Hydra should be good enough to at least exit the windows, and it is. But man, the time that is burnt there, under 30 seconds to go, you do not have a tick. You have not had a presence mid-map for so, so long. Can you just flip this round though, Hydra? Sib, looking to make plays here late. Maybe be a threat on offense. It's been all yellow in the feed since they got out of the base. Draws once again trying to be the bailout. Get what kills he can. Stay alive as long as he can. Trying to finesse but not able to do it. No First trophy. tick is done. No trophy. Look at this. Yeah, I'm easy uh -oh. going to hit the frag. You saw all the stuns connect. Hydra trying to find six in a row, though. You wanted him to step up in this series. Nine and four the first round. Now five in a row to get them out of the trap. But he's got to go big. Can he get a cruise? Maybe to help them work with sure it, does. he does. One tick complete over towards B. Finds another headshot, two ticks in. Skies with the third, but a BZ from up top. Cannot find all three. Might have been snoozing early, yeah, if you're Hydra the first two maps, but he just goes volcanic. Now Kiss trying to be the late man hero again, just six in the game, but some clutch kills. There's another one, Contest is in. Trade is through, it's a flurry. It's a bloodbath on the point, but is the final kill for Sip and Cell come in. It's a defensive hold and a tick advantage now for FaZe. Did they, they, did they get anything on? No, nothing. Six, okay, yeah. I didn't think so the first time through, but. Well, yeah, just sort of this back and forth battle. FaZe do a great job getting them in the trap, but then Hydra able to fight on through. We're going to watch the replay of uh, a BZ's nade. But you called it great B. with the no trophy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you just saw from up top. Yeah. I mean, all the stuns were connecting on the point of view of Skies and Kids. You see the stuns hit. Well, three just right in the face, and then the nades stack it on top of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, whoever else hit one with them, that's what set up the double there. So great teamwork, fantastic use of utility. They're out of Atlanta phase. The patience and retake, beautiful. But who can get going maybe on offense? We know who's heated up for New York. It's Hyder, and that is scary, because if you're going to bring this back and you're going to win this series, that is when your super mega stars go wild. Yeah, so he's going to have the cruise four in a row for Cell. See if he can find one of his own. But Kismet inside the elevator. Listen to some music, just hanging out. But that is going to be three dead. Cell, the last player alive. Kiz battling back. Explosions around him. Nice job taking out Draza. And a threat once again as he's able to get the base. So you see the arrows kind of turn as they've got to worry about him. But from top heli, it's Simp. He then finesses his Sib, tries to push him. So great job there, Sib. Some clean shots. Nearly able to take down two, but this has been great. You've had a constant pressure from subliners really towards that phase base. But you haven't really pinned them in yet. There's been this skirmish going on mid-map for the Tiny Tears, and they win it on both fronts. Yeah, now always, they get them all. There's always been one more. Another big kill that went down. Hydra was able to win the one-on-one. -on -one to stop Cell finding the six spree. Maybe you're able to get the crews out, but I think with the two kills, they don't have to use it. You'd love that to maybe be a little bit cleaner for phases. They push on up towards B to get the cruise missile out early, but not going to happen. Only one tick is in. And time is dwindling. The constant pressure for subliners paying off so far. 20 seconds to go. Lives basically even. Just one tick of progress, and you're going to send it all towards A. Spawn comes out that side. They're flying forward. We'll see how it plays out. Skies, the point man. Skies, the damage dealer. As he's able to take on two, that might seal it. Kismet drops from up top. The last guy is Cell. He gets laid out, and they got him on clamps. As they get their second round, beautiful hold. I, I thought, like... I didn't think it was going to work out at first because they kept having like somebody get forward, but not when it was like a, you know, kind of a clean spawn killing situation. There was always still somebody up for phase towards mid, but like you never really got to a good four man push and setup of your phase because of that. They yeah, kind of kept I, staggering honestly, it, right? Both teams have done a fantastic job on their defense. It's just yeah. not really allowing that to happen. And any time it looks like map control is going the offensive way, they all bounce back. They deal with the player in the spawn, trying to find kills. 
This is just uh, two of the best teams in the world going at it. It absolutely is. We've got a top heavy league with the big four. Anybody's guess who's going to win this one? A multi kill again for Draws. As he's become a little more human over the course of this map three after taking over in the first two. As Hydra has done the opposite, he has gotten hot, but it's guys now that is hunting and a weak simp will end up falling. Draws his nade is through there for the instant trade, but nothing too much opening on the objective yet. You have to deal with Hydra still in the base and the reaction doesn't come in quickly as Cell's focused on something else. Now you open this wide open if you're subliners. Hydra's got to drop before you can do anything. Yeah, this is what teams uh, throughout this map have done so well dealing with finding that one player. They were able to find kids earlier in the round in that spot. Here it all comes now again. the trophy's starting to hit. Only one trophy down. So one tick is through. You are tied in the lives though. And they're going to use this. Okay. Streak going to come in. We'll see maybe what this opens up for him. It's going to take out one at the same time Sky's a kill, but he drops right after. He gets maybe an extra player or two out towards mid to fight here on the objective, but will it lead to much else? Because you get this perfectly done. If you're a BZ, a little one-two punch in there that leads to two for him. Well, they, don't for to they want the ticks, right? So they're going for it in terms of that. It's not done it's yet. It's a one tick lead right now for Atlanta phase. Hey, look how close it is. It, look how close it is. Kind of setting it on this. They got it. There is the product uh, progress. So we are all tied up on that front. But that's why you saw that missile come on through. Well, they might just get the tick, get the extra minute. There's still a contested is here, yet. though. Two kills through for FaZe. Draza hunting, looking, lurking as he gets another. Cell is through. Two players spawning up and trying to fly over towards A. Similar predicament you kind of had if you were FaZe in the last round. You're trying to scramble, find something with no time. And this is just going to be down to lives. We'll see how it ends up playing out ultimately for this final round. But it's been a game of defense. These final kills should be the clearance. And I think New York should have it just based on the fact you have, I think Hydra is like plus 11. Skies is right around plus four or five. It is very close and a couple of kills do come in towards the end. Well, that's why I think you saw Atlanta phase. Yeah, I mean, two people kind of holding their base, not going out, trying to throw away stupid lives. But it should be phase on offense. We'll get that confirmation in just a moment. Is a massive round five here. A chance to swing this series for New York and push it. It's here we go now, round five. Phase work to do is it has been all defense. You take a three streak from draws and sell into this one. Can you maybe get a streak to make a play like we saw with Hydra? Skies, a pick and he's out. See if Draza has maybe another heroic moment as he started to get it going. That's five in a row, closer to a streak, one away. Kills through for Atlanta phase. Everybody dropping. Simp able to get another. They're on the point. That's a triple from Simp in this round five. And quickly, the progress is going. You've got three on it. Next one's there. Still one kill needed for Draza. There's number six. He got the crews to work with. You got B. They strike and they strike so quickly. Things falling apart. If you are New York, someone's got to go huge for them. You're at least able to get a pair of kills. Maybe you slow this down for a second if you're phase. Regroup, play behind the streak, close this game out. Yeah, you're definitely not freaking out if you are New York subliners, but we have not seen that. An early cap in a round. And that's why phase really didn't get pushed up. They didn't try to play for the spawn kills. They wanted the extra time in the round. Here is the crews, the comms, because the BZ's flanking underground. There is a quick trade, and uh, Sim and Sky's fine kill, so this may not even work out to get you out of your base, so the crews does nothing. No, this is a brilliant answer from subliners. Such a good opening from FaZe. Great job getting the streak, but you quickly solidify your defense if you're subliners. You force out a streak, and they use it to no avail. Now with a minute 20 to go, and basically dead even the lives department. We see if FaZe can do what no team has done so far in this oh one. That is God. get A, the Bulldog hitting foreheads. Yeah, able to find the headshot. And oh, but that almost gets very ugly for FaZe. It pretty much does. Yeah, that leads yeah. to three yeah. more kills. The fact that he's able to win that gunfight on the Celium. They had to focus him down. A team kill comes in, and now you're back to the trap. Uh, you nailed it when you said they're not panicked. They're not worried. They know they can deal with this, and they have done it brilliantly. 
that early five life advantage, a thing of a distant memory, is you're now up of your subliners. Lives against you, time against you if you're phase. Just a couple more hits and opportunities to really push this forward. But the team shots have been on point for Subliner so far. They're just avoiding that three or four down. They've always got another yep. player or two, but there's the three down. Now a chance to collapse. The one person rotating over the back is going to be Skies. He's got to go big with Hydra now to try and make the play. Skies drops, Hydra gets one, Hydra gets two. Hydra, a hero at 33 and 22, maybe making the play to close this out. Yeah, you had a BZ. He was able to find the opener and get out, but now it is just Sip, eight versus four, eight seconds left. Faze have to be perfect to find this 3-0. Draws oh, is no. going to find two. Trophy down now. Pressure on the subliner. I swear Jeez to God. Go. Able to find the pick. You're going to stack this, but no lives left. That should be it, you would think. I thought Draws was going to hero bail out again, but that does it, New York. With the resilience in the series, the resilience in the map. No 3-0 for Atlanta Faze, and now... The lion starts to roar. Hydra has woken up. This series very different going forward. Yeah, he leads the way with 33, almost 6,000 damage. On the other side, Simp and Cell really go off damage-wise. But it, it's just a, a case of the defense, right? They use the crews, New York, to, you know, get defense round number five. But both teams, very impressive stuff. Every single time there was an opportunity, they use their nades, stuns, get those trophies off of B. Didn't allow many ticks over towards A. Yeah, and like with the damage numbers where they were, it, it just, I don't know if they traded more efficiently is the way to put it, but like, just seems like the team shots and comms were a little ahead at times for New York. Like, it was like, I don't know, a multi-kill or an individual play sometimes for FaZe that like got them in a good spot. It was like everybody threw on the feet for New York when it was going well. That's not a Hydra. They were all having their moments. Yeah, I think it probably looks that way a little bit more. You have the three defenses. That's uh, true. That's the, true. That's a good point. That's was, a good point. Solid for both sides. But yeah, you just secure it with the, the game that Hydra had. Him and Skies leading the way, staying positive. And sometimes it comes down to a little TDM. And now it, it, it's obviously all phase early. They look so good on the map one. They look so good on the map two. And you pointed out earlier, like, in very unhydra like fashion. He's very much like a Celium who just seems to always be positive. He's one of those super mega stars that is always getting his numbers. Through the first two, he couldn't. Now that he is awake, how different is this series for you? Oh, I, I, big time. Yeah, he's getting going. We know the impact he has on the map. You're going to a map like Invasion in game number four, where it's just his ability to finesse and stay alive, right? We've seen it time and time again on that map, where if you can just do it for a couple more seconds in certain situations. Get your team to spawn, to flip the map. That is the difference between these two. We got an invasion to close out the series for Hardpoint and Search. We'll see if we get to the game five. Feel like we deserve one based on how this is going so far in the battle of these heavy hitters. And that, uh, listen, that, that series one got me ready for us a day of bangers. It was one of the better ones on the year and potential now for it here. Cause what, I think in the last time they played, it was a two one advantage for FaZe. Like they were up in the series, they were looking good. You thought they had the victory and then you pull it, you steal it if you are New York and same spot. Well, I mean, you weren't in an 0-2 hole last time, but like still you're in the two one hole, you brought it back. Yeah, I mean, they're used to this. It's a world yeah. championship yeah. game. So uh, they know they just had to get a map on the board and now the pressure is on for FaZe to try to close this out. Or are we going to an invasion S and D? But well, we're headed to Invasion. Hardpoint, a solid map for both of these squads. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we keep it going now in this best of five. But New York Hydra, how big of a piece is that going to be with how well he started to play? Some of the crucial multi-kills. Felt like it was all kind of simp and busy and that kind of frontman push that was dominating early on. But now that he's getting it going, we'll see if he sparks some life into this New York team. Uh, Listen, most of the maps and modes are pretty solid when you're talking about top four teams. There's not a ton of weaknesses where you wouldn't be a top four team, but just stats aside, is there anything, maybe a big advantage for either team we've talked to about Invasion? Well, I think, honestly, just due to the rotation, that the fact that New York Subliners are number one in the league, that is going to help them, right? When you're talking about these P2, P3s, combos, where you're really finding all the time on the map, that is going to help. And then FaZe, we saw them on this map versus Boston, and it got very messy or versus LADs it got very messy in that so it's a hard point in which you played on land maybe you go back fix those mistakes make it better for yourself but New York this is a chance to tie it up
Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, that's just the nature of Invasion sometimes. It's very gritty, scrappy, messy. That just is kind of how it plays out sometimes based on the change to the hard point and how you have to focus on map control more than the objective at times. But, like, you would think a team like FaZe would be good in those moments, but they get outplayed by Thieves. The Invasion doesn't look great in the control either in that series. The respawns there just have been kind of lackluster, at least as of late. But as you said, you talk through the coaching staff, you know where your weaknesses are, you try to improve it. But the story for now is whether or not New York can bounce back, win two straight maps, get us to a game five, maybe make this an all-time series. Step by step, they try to fight back. You see the stats there for Invasion Hardpoint for both teams. But here we go into it for the map four. Subliners desperately fighting for a map five. As Kismet had some ludicrous gunfight victories in that one as well. I mean, Hydra stepped up, but yeah, Kiz had his moments too. And those are the two they really get behind when they're winning. They sure do. Is uh, the battle's going down here on this first hill. Both teams vying for control, really, of uh, that B Street. Skies with the pistol. Sib with the pistol. Getting on the hill, off the hill, just finessing. As the nades and the sun start to hit. What's the most important, maybe early moment on this hard point? Like, where where do you really got to lock it in and start to make the plays here? Well, I think obviously you want these P2 early spawns, but can you flip them if you're the either team? Uh, is draw, or Hydra going to find a BZ? He's on four in a row, up to five and one, but finding the spawns is P3 is about to spawn, or about to pop. It's up now. You've got the spawns. We'll see if you can maybe push through for the flip if you are subliners. But yeah, Hydra, you don't want him to keep this hot streak going. Five in a row, maybe looking for a streak, trying to finesse, now in trouble, just trying to play his life till the help gets here. He will drop before the cruise is able to be earned. And this is one of those situations so often where you can't really get into the hard point, just based on how open they can be. You're just fighting all around it and trying to find these safe moments to get in. And usually it's because of something like that. You get two headshots if you're a cell. You cruise some of the time. But yeah, a minute off the play clock already in very invasion that style. Yeah, and again, I think both teams are okay just le letting it be, like leaving it white and trying to play for the spawns instead. So Hydra Skies will get taken down. Maybe you try to accrue a couple of seconds, but not going to work out. Really, these next couple of fights are so massive. Abizi, the only player forward for face. And he needs to get started. He was 0-6 till this moment. And you think back to the map one. Well, yeah, Abizi starts hot. Hydra starts slow. Two of the perennial superstars for these teams as Abizi tries to battle back into this and avoid the evasion blender. But it is going to be some clean time here early. You are a mile away from this if you're Atlanta phase. You're going to get a lot of time here if you're subliners. And this is what NYSL just do so well. And win those ro key rotations, they do it here again. So you're going to need a break if you are Atlanta phase. They're starting to push on up, be able to find the first kill. There is the second, but the close spawn comes in for Sib. Sib right into it. As you said, he wins a second one as well. The tiny tears put into the dirt. And that's going to guarantee the rest of this time. So you get a perfect and full 60. New York subliners rallying back in this series. It's early. But it's starting to be a nice advantage so far. Now we get ready for the next hard point to go. Battling through, pushing through, sip and sell, finding some key ones. Their moment out of strike. Yeah, are they going to know though that a couple of players spawn up still gas? One player flips out in kids before P4 pops. So you do get the map flip if you there are phase and a busy couple of multi kills now as he gets going. So now if you're New York, you know, all right, they're going to try to just really play for P5. This is where spawns get weird, right? Like this transition where you're all fighting for the same spot and Sim spawns like right between kind of two players. And the awareness to turn though and get the kill and then to get out of harm's way as he scrambles away. But holding it from the pal side, still subliners for now. Yeah, but they're just going to take the points. You get Hydra towards the mid tank, finessing. He's on 14. Some key time, and yeah, he's on 15, almost 16. But that will be three dead with 20 seconds to go. Skies now able to prone behind the car. If the stun doesn't connect, maybe snaps to the second. Skies like, bro, I got four. <laughs> it's just been Hydra, just dominating. You've got 27 seconds throughout the course of this entire thing. If you're faced, two minutes off the play clock. And it's just one of those maps where you start to get a couple of win conditions. If you're subliners, the deeper we go, you worry about the clock, you have to worry about the overall score.
They, are they going to be ready for this Sib spawn? It looks like number five was. Yeah, Sib spawns up at parking lot. I got a little bit nervous. Now it's Skies' turn. Spawn still there for NYSL, and this is what I mean. Now FaZe going to have to be ready for this, because as you said, yeah, not a lot of time on the play clock. We're still very early. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this is a hill. They needed to find a full 60 to respond from that P3 for New York, and New York are already here. Yeah, sometimes just uh, the spawns here can be interesting. It's who can deal with it better. But it's Cell trying to maybe match Hydra as he's trying to earn his six and maybe a streak, but the melee not able to hit. One runs past him and kills him on five in a row. A chain of hard points now for subliners and God, not a ton to talk about in the objective. It's 100 to 50 through all this time, but how long can you hold on to this? If you are subliners, you get the scrap time now. If you're phased, you try to rally back. Spawning out gas will be Sib. He's still trying to maybe cut through people on the cross as they look to get in, but first into the point again. And three kills early. It's Hydra, it's subliners. Yeah, I mean, Hydra has 21 yeah. kills already. Uh, we are just in our, our second bro, like, set of hills as he has really taken over. I, uh, kind of what we thought. I mean, that's not what you're talking about, because if he looked like a different player over that map three, you're thinking maybe he takes this right into another respawn, and he's done exactly that. His draws will try to get some time. Every point has been so difficult to accrue. If you are this Atlanta phase team, nothing has come easy. Honestly, it's reminded me of their game versus Thieves. It's been very similar. It's just fighting tooth and nail blood in your mouth to get a second well they do everything right really until that like last part of the p5 then they give up some spawns they don't they don't block and that and it just gets messy we're on the other side it's a 60 point lead where do those 60 seconds come in it's the p3 so new york they win that rotation they're going to try to do it here again over towards p2 where you have a a nice setup where you're going to try to flip out as soon as you can yeah i mean your opportunity is just on this map to really get a nice 50 60 they don't come in waves you got to find those spots and really take advantage skies though start to heat up is a moment ago we had four up to 12 the hydra demonic over the course of this one as he's gone insane let's hear the cops now and listen in with new york subliners Jump, 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 jump
You're not going to have the cleanest setup. A BZ are going to be mid tank alongside of Simp. But they have the spawns. The trophies are down. They get this 60. The game is done. It just feels like so much of this game has been phase spawning Palace and trucking across the map is what it has been. Do they have some sort of insane break here, maybe to start to pull back into this, but you now eclipse the 200 point mark with 40 seconds left to go in the hard point. It's all yellow in the feed. They lock it down, shut it down. Hydra trying to flank for the last as they know they're missing one. It's a gas side spawn now for Atlanta phase as they take another crack at this with 30 to go. Yeah, they're gonna need this time if they wanna try to win this map. They do need those back parking lot spawns. As well, it's just such a team effort now. I mean, you had the 21 through the first set for Hydra slows down a bit, but you get everybody else going, especially this man, Skies. He's on another four in a row, another spree. Just maintaining this lead. And that's uh, you know what happens with top teams like this. When one person slows down, somebody else can step it out. You got superstars, all-stars across the board, and next hard point ready to go. 33 needed for the victory if you are subliners. And with a minute 20 on the clock and nearly a 100-point advantage, it has become very, a very improbable that FaZe could bring this one back, but who knows? Yeah, we've seen crazy things, but yeah, this would be something unbelievable. And New York know this. They should just try to find a couple of seconds at a time, especially on a hill like P1 and P2. If you're FaZe, how do you do this? You get time here, you control P2, and you basically you have to win three hills in a row. I just don't see it happening. Is it is four and dead for now, a four phase. They're gonna spawn it up, try to get right back to it. Yeah, and every time it just feels like maybe phase, you get a three or four down, you get into the hard point. That next wave of kills, they're just never able to get. It's been an answer early and often from subliners to stop the bleeding. Make sure you can't rally or make a run if you are Atlanta phase. 13 to go for the victory now for NYSL. The point man in Kismet has gotten a kill. The next hard point is up at P2. And now you're trying to collapse on this, but you got to go. The pressure is on. You got to send it. Abizi gets an opener. Cell finds one through on the cut. They've got numbers here. Can you hold and go? Absolutely wild of your Hydra, you can't. So you get in pretty quickly, but still just nine for the win. Can you actually find time? Because last time you broke here for your face, you really didn't get any time. And yeah, just sort of the fundamentals. Sib and Kismet get forward. Abizi leads to the break on the pinch, but they don't play around the hill. They play around connector control. Now you can get on it, get some trophies down. But they know FaZe have to push on forward, kind of baiting them in. It's the wave of kills to get on. The next one they can never find. Draza with a multi, but it's Skies that's battling on the point. And now we go the distance. Kismet is standing. Skies is on his feet. He's letting FaZe know they're making the run. They got it going in map three. They bring it early in this game four. And some of these hills, I think, for phase on this invasion, the last couple of times we have watched them, they do the right thing 95% of the time. And then as soon as a, a hill is about to pop, a couple of players die, spawns flip. It is frustrating at times. And that is the difference where in NYSL, they win rotation to something like the P3 and find a full 60. Yeah, and getting, I mean, up 100 on that map, you're getting slammed. Like, they they were outplayed, but you're right. It was like, it was inopportune deaths. Or just I, over and over again, like, they would get, like, three or four kills. They would get the break. But that next fight, that next fight to just get a little map control, feel comfortable getting in the objective, I just feel like they've never won. N yeah, never. Well, look at this. Just the team effort for the subliners. Everybody right around the same dam damage. Uh, Hydra leading the way. He's at 21 non-traded kills. 28. Skies has 29. And now we are headed to a game five. Well, think about it. When he had like 15, the rest of the team had like six. <laughs> he slows down and yes, everybody else steps it up. But that's what championship contender teams can do. You've got talent across the board. At any moment, somebody can take over. And while we've seen it now from both teams, when someone has to step it up, they've been able to do it. We thought this might go five. It has. Maybe not in the fashion we thought it would. But the fact is, we got here. Now we look forward to the invasion. Yeah, we'll see uh, what's going to happen. But just looking at the game flow, I mean, you just saw that that sort of 50, 60 point lead and never really went away Yeah, for the subliners. And then even when you had the setup there at P3, the second time through for FaZe behind the BZ's play, they're able to get through, what, 20, 25 seconds left just to make it messy. Yeah, I mean, that 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 break is what kept them in the game. But keeping them in the game was just never that, that next kind of push.
to break in that 60, maybe not get a lead change, but get within chipping distance where you're not playing against the clock, you're not playing against a 100-point advantage. They couldn't do it. Subliner simply too strong. Back in 4-3 go. It looked like it might be a 3-0 quickly for FaZe. Not the case. We continue to go the distance here in Miami. We're going all the way. It's a map five to decide who's going to get into the top three, into that winner's bracket final. It's a battle of the juggernauts, the Titans, all the way to this last one. Do not go anywhere. It's Invasion S&D after the break. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator. Now available in-game in the Call of Duty store. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with the scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Major. We continue on the 2024 season. We continue on a Major 2 as we get deeper into this tournament. Phase dominant early. New York striking back. It is a map five now, and Joe, we're going to Invasion. How's it look for either team? Yeah, I mean, New York, you're three and two, pretty solid, but I mean, this, you know, s and bring your bread and butter all yep, year long. Yep. You're five and one, though, in game fives. They have been a clutch team when it gets to this point. On the other side for FaZe, this is your go-to, the, the map you've played the most. Eight and three, 
Played it 11 times, but uh, Matt Five's not as clean four and three. So when the pressure is on, New York look a little bit better. Yeah, and sometimes, yeah, Matt Five stats go out the window. Like, who the hell cares? This is where uh, <laughs> playmakers, this is their playground. This is where the heroes are made. This is when one moment can be the difference between a crowd erupting for you or booing you. Like, the pressure is on. But these are all players that have dealt with this for a long time now. They have made deep runs at tournaments. They have been world champions. This is just filled with the monsters of our league. But everybody's human still. You know, it goes around 11, like your heart's still pumping. I don't care who you are. Yeah, and this was the map five, actually, from the online series. And this is where the subs of NYSL took over. Okay. It was Kiz in, in Hydra, ball put up around double digits. So I, I guess you have something to learn from if you are phased. But yeah, you, you see right there, this man, the Bulldog, we saw him getting hyped up. He has been so clutch in game five. Listen, man, he'll be quiet at times, but you roar at him, he'll let you know. And it's usually through his gameplay in the map fives. He can be a clutch god. Can he do it here? Map five, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Is the first Blood King in a BZ will strike first. Numbers to Atlanta phase. And I just see you at least have that, right? You've played them recently. It turns into a loss if you are phase. You learn from it. How do we slow them down? And well, that is one way. A BZ find the first blood on Kiz. I mean, what our first series is just a banger down to an evasion search. Goes to round 11. Let's just do it again. We're partying in Miami. Is now you're trying to bring it back in the 3v4. Hydra still just holding, waiting, watching. Utility be exhausted. Yeah, you have one player in Sim, kind of on an island over towards B. The other three ready for this transition, but the headshot no hits way. on both sides. So that first blood thrown away for now. Still 30 seconds. Sell on one side of the map. Simp on the other. What can they find? I mean, maybe you can ego chow at times. Some teams, if you're phased, but you're not doing it to Sim. There's two that line up in front and sell. Maybe making the play. Trying to stay alive. Pushes in. And sell goes nuclear. It all comes down to the time. And while he's able to catch him, plus has the nades in hand. And it just hits right as high, just starting to push on forward. They line up for Cell. If he still could have shot bodies, he would have been doing it through the end of the round. But he clutches up for FaZe in a moment they needed it after the first blood from Abizi. Oh, that was three pumps, Joe. Heard a couple of boos. It's questionable. What's the official ruling, Joe? I'm not an official. I'll, <laughs> I'll leave that to the flight, Josh. <laughs> Simp now his turn with the opener. Once again, numbers for FaZe. Uh, maybe the goal here to uh, not stress yourselves out as much. Don't let Sib gun you to sleep. Play behind the numbers. Keep the advantage, but now... Just taking their time, grouping up, making sure they're there together if they need to get a trade, not allow a free kill to happen as they start to execute. Now you only have one player over towards A for now. The other two up towards B. Sky's trying to find an angle. And they haven't started the bomb plant yet as Sib and Hydra are going to get active. But it's Straza and mid tank. Gonna deal with that player connector. So Big, the key there, a BZ gets away after the bomb plant. Yep, he takes like 45 damage as he crosses, but still gets through, knows he's got cover, gets the plant down. Now time starts to dwindle, 30 to go. Hydra, tough gunfight, good job. Just backing down for now, repositioning, but Sib again, the guy that brings it back into a three versus three, winning his ones, but a trade this time comes through. You keep numbers only for a moment. Two versus two, Skies wins his one-on-one. -on -one. It's Sib and Skies again with massive ones. Sib is gonna get dropped. Numbers don't matter for phase. Subliners rip. Roar back into this round two. And they have the smoke for a retake situation like this. As soon as that is popped, Selium, he gets nervous. He knows he has to check to the fuse in case somebody is on it. But it's another four versus three. They did not have a lot of map control, though, right? As soon as Hydra gets forward mid-take, Draza doesn't want to chow that one-on-one. -on -one. He backs up to a teammate. You get the trade from Simp. But then the next two players lose their one-on-ones. So, I mean, if you were New York, you got to be feeling confident even after losing that 1v3. Yeah, no, I mean, you feel like you should be up 2 0, 100%. <laughs> but, man, Skies and Sib just continue to be the mid round Reapers that bring them back into this one. 
attack now for subliners and just based on position of bomb you're starting to maybe work this up towards that b site but you've got two players there both have taken shots got a little info so far if you're new york yeah, and if your kids obviously had a couple of unlucky rounds but he's got to stay confident play his game keep play, being that aggressor the opening duelist for this team at times but a busy Finds the headshot. He's been so good in this spot. We saw it earlier in the tournament versus LA Thieves. Using a rival or this MCW locking down A. Yeah, first blood in round one. Now that one. I mean, outside of like Cell's play, he's the one really maybe <laughs> winning gunfights. Trying to continue on is Sip. Able to get him before Sip is able to cross behind the tank. So no big play chance here for Sip to get in the middle of a round. Time starting to dwindle down to 30 seconds. Sip is popping off. Getting three in the round, locking down the site. One of the best to ever do it. They can't well, get through him. And he's been the one kind of playing on an island over here towards B. Uh, a lot of the times when we've seen him, at least earlier in the year, he was kind of the guy mid-tank playing connector. I'm sure he will switch it up at times, throw in that smoke, running through it, making plays. But as for now, they just have him with the MCW playing over towards that B side on defense. You got to think, even though they've you know had some long series, he's coming in with confidence. Like he set the uh, what, 100 plus record a couple series ago, beats it then in the following series, has the damage record. Like he has been playing so, so well, trying to make an impact at five and one and take over in this map five. Is a very kind of passive B setup right now from subliners. You're playing deep. Yeah, it's all really again around the retake. We, you know, they are very comfortable doing this. Stuns connect for Simp. Smoke in the right spot, so he lives. Yeah, but honestly, they don't aren't able to use it to use the bomb plan because the stuns hit. So as that sort starts to dissipate, now he's going to start the plan. Yeah, able to get the angle though with the help from his teammates. Actually, what, is this? what is this? What is this? Hydra from what? Mars. What do we have here. With the wall bang through, what in the world is that from Hydra? I mean, we'll have to see if we catch where that's from, but you kind of saw the shots through the window all the way from the defensive spawn. He it, shot him through an apartment building. It's through uh, there's there's a, a window. The ice cream. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. That's a busy. I mean, this shuts down B. B is locked down. Draza trying to bring it back, but we'll see if Hydra can maybe get another one. Now 20 seconds to go. You thought you were in a good spot if you're phase. Now starts the plant. Works to get this down. Hydra, the difference maker in this round. You've got to here. You're trying to make sure he can't get away from the side if he's Draza, but he's able to do that from now. You have Daddy ready to pop if you are Hydra. Retake looming. Well, he's only got 11 bullets, right? So that's really it. He's going to throw the smoke out. He's going to be the one to start the retake because he has, has nothing left. But he's got the Renetti. That's all he needs. 1v3 for sell. He's already got one 1v3 in the backpack. They're not happening this time. Oh, that's the ace, baby. Ace for Hydra. A magician early in the round. I mean, this is just playmakers going up against each other three in the round previously from Sim Hydra now let's watch his replay uh, I mean this is just where is this from uh, I mean so we don't have his point of view but it is through a window this is the extra work that it has made this team world champions at times and there we there go. go right from that staircase shout out to the coaching staff yo SD nerd whoever it was to find that to lock down B <laughs> now what do you do if you're phased because if you don't get ice cream control, B is done. I mean, you're. This is where uh, you know those those mid-game adjustments. Maybe one of the bigger ones you're ever going to have to make is you got to rethink your entire execution onto the site. We'll see if they're able to do it. But you continue to roll now with your subliners. It's a first blood and a headshot there for Skies. Subliners have done a good job in these three v fours. Can Phase give them a dose of their own medicine? Yeah, well, yeah, Simpson had tied up. He plays connector this time through. Sure, okay, so they do exactly that. <laughs> and it looks like they're going to play through the flank. So it's going to be nobody over towards B. Bomb not planted yet, so still some... Yeah, gets him off the bomb for now. Hydra, though, not able to find that kill. You're getting close to that plant, and you're just able to stop it. Simp gets his second in the round, but the trade is there for Hydra. And now to a two-on-two, -two and bomb is planted. A BZ sell. They'll have to work the retake. Hydra, Skies, they'll try to hold. Giddy up, here we go, as we're tied up. And what a big moment this can be. You have trophy protection here, close if your skies. 
There's just so much to clear, right? They, they have to layer up the map. This is for six in a row. Yeah, trying to find the Cruz as well and the lead in the map. Here we go, a nade going to connect. The trophy not going to protect him. And they're able to find Skies. 15 Whoa! seconds and BZ with the Beamer. The utility used to perfection, taking Hydra out of the play. The team shot to the tractor, and we'll see you later. Hydra, in answer, some clinical search and destroy being shown on both sides. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, but it starts with Simp right after the first blood. He's able to find the equalizer to put them in the three versus three. It's like Simp then kept it's doing 2v2. it. <laughs> now Simp. But the trophy not going to protect Hydra in that spot. The stun, the nade connects, and they just kind of let him be. Say, he's going to be weak. He's not going to overchal, so let's take down Skies. They want to execute, and now execute do. they do. Yeah, yeah, no, that, this, is the, this is the question. I mean, that is now a play, the play that is going to change invasion across the board. So he's going to go back to that spot. You see number four, did a play top palace. I mean, really, the only thing you can do is is get ice cream control, not allow to tell him when he's on the bomb. Just Sim is the key here, or whoever's playing ice cream watching the cross to be. And that'll be Sib for now. He'll be so good at playing his life, getting the wall banks through the tractor, finding a kill when he's getting swarmed. He's had some incredible moments from that position, but now you're just grouped up, talking things through, looking for this push is the execute now. Over towards A. Atlanta Face ready to go. Kismet wins it and able to get out, but not get away. Abizi there with the trade. To a 3v3 we go. Sib able to connect. Is his rotation is there and across? And Sib with two. Likely the dagger in the round. Yeah, and well, Cell gets spotted. Abizi was thinking, let's rotate off the kill that I got on the Kiz. But he had nobody there to trade with him. Sib with some nice movement, but Cell gonna find the headshot. 25 seconds left. Should be able to collect this bomb. And Hydra's just got the spot on the cross from everywhere as he's deep palace. So you still have that information that he's yet to move. Not sure where Skies is at this time. And he knows he might commit. He's gonna try and catch him. And he catches him! He catches him, he makes the play! He Trying the to track back, can't get there! Not able to get there. Skies has put his sneakers on and he's out. And he had the info on the cross just to make sure he didn't get the bomb. No time to plant. Because it's another wild round here. I thought Cell made the play for a moment with the decision to catch Hydra. Yeah, nice shots by Kiz. Goes for the reach, Al, as soon as Abizi hunts him down. You're thinking maybe in the three on three, but he kind of tried to go to B where Sib was. He just gets caught. But yeah, Cell almost makes it happen. Almost, yeah. Don't, don't count him out uh, ever. I mean, think all the 1v4s he's had over these past couple of years. Some utility hitting before that trophy is out, but we've been good to go. For now, it's a BZ again with a first blood, able to find these picks. This but, is his home, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know, it really is. But Dross, who's had such a great series, one in five right now, but still ways to go. We're tied up 3-3. Three, three. But yeah, his, uh, his first bloods over the course of these titles, all the titles, just unbelievable. Yeah, just near this eight bomb site. He's got three first bloods, I think. But Skies, able to find Draws. Draws having a rough map now, one in six. So that man advantage is gone again. This could come down to Simp. The island over towards B. Has any team gotten a second kill after the first blood yet? It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it at all. So BZ does his job, and now he's knowing I got to do more. Time dwindling. 25 to go in the execute. Starting to come in of your sub ladder. The BZ's gonna get caught though. They're able to take the two man tango to him and drop him. Simp instantly answers 2v2. 15 to go. Cell's got the angle. The read is on. The last bullet is in. Skies now. His turn to clutch. Bomb is planted. 1v2 versus Simp and Cell. This is not an easy retake for FaZe. We saw this just a match ago. Fellow, time and time again, able to clutch on up. 25 seconds left, but the smoke going to help. So he's going to have to peek this sooner or later, maybe take a shot, but he's not going to fall for it. It's all. Not going to find it, but he gets spotted Cell. He's on four in a row, and he's going to hit the defuse. You have the smoke just to make him, make him nervous, think about maybe somebody on it, but also allow you both to get across, play tight, so you've got the trade. And yeah, if he gets one before he spotted, maybe. But they trade it out as we go deeper and deeper into this map five. 
Just a battle to get into that top three. Everything we'd hoped it'd be, but as you said, four in a row now, seven and two, four cell, chance to maybe earn that cruise. And that smoke on both defensive ends has been so key for retakes for both of these teams. We saw it there, we saw it in the round before from Hydra. Trying to get a little pre-aim off the stun in a very aggressive round here inside a cafe out of New York. Absolutely. Several pushed up, sit back down for now. They know he's a lot, oftentimes the lone guy kind of be on the tractor, but now you're worried about Hydra's play earlier and wonder maybe where everybody oh, is. Yeah, he's right back. Right back to it. And maybe you're thinking they got the information on Sib. They're thinking maybe they're out there playing that way. They backed up more to their standard. And now you see what Hydra might be able to do. It's going to be this long play. You see Abizi getting a ton of info. But it could come down to these two players inside a cafe. It's going to be Skies and Kismet in the two-man game. Who is going to bite first? Right. And just all a game of information. They're clearing their fog of war and finding more and more openings on the map. I think Abizi's going to get them to rotate. Yeah, so Abizi gets through, but again, it could come down to this wall bang. Could come down to this. Now, they're, they're not going to know when he's on the bomb, but he's going for it. Simto readjusts the plant. Does he get it down? He does. Abizi chows. Abizi finds the first blood, draws it with another. And that. It's how champions adjust. They deal with it, they reposition the plant, they nullify Hydra and then push it out. And now you got the three on two. But Skies and Sib, they've been the equalizers. They've been the reapers. They've won fights they shouldn't. And there's another one. You're able to take it to your Skies. Oh the answer my. though from Simp. And oh, it's a round and a half. Yeah, I, I got wow. nervous there because if he dies, the last phase player was on the flank, was all the way on the pinch with Celium. Whew. And there we go. Nice job by Sip, but a BZ getting into ice cream. That is the spot that they needed to take control of. Last time it was Sib inside of it. This time he's just on the barricade. So Hydra, he's got no clue exactly <laughs> where the plant's coming in from, but they get it down. Hey, you having fun watching two spectacular search teams go toe for toe. This is awesome. Five in a row for Cell. Maybe the ability to earn a cruise that could. Be the final coffin, nail in the coffin. Big gun fights a BZ again. again. He's farming first bloods. It's four near this A bomb site. And a couple of them have been on Kiz. As he is just so comfortable with this MCW. And then they're getting aggressive up the street. Draws a sip. It's all down to skies. They push two up the street. They haven't got that aggressive before this time. They catch him off guard. Skies now. One versus three. Or it's revenge now for Atlanta phase. And another winner's bracket for this trio. Can skies do it? Time to work with. 40 or so to go. Doesn't have Bob now. So yeah. He's going to have to cross here. Might get spotted. But he knows. Yeah, BZ gonna spot him. The headshot hit phase into a winner final on Sunday once again. <laughs> Woo! God, that was fun. So many just wild rounds in this search and destroy. And how'd you win it last time if you were in New York? You won both searches. How do you do it this time if you're phase? You win both searches. I could watch these two play search all goddamn day. Yeah, number one and number two in the league for a reason. But phase, get back to the spot that, uh, yeah, they're known for. Into a top three, a winner's final on Sunday. New York will have another match tonight. You know, a slow start for them, but just props to, I mean, FaZe, the coaching staff, being able to adjust in the S&D, they were ready for it, but man, that Hydra spot was dirty. No, no, that was that round was insane. And then, yeah, you're thinking maybe it's going to go the same way, but just tucked behind the bomb to cut off that angle. And as you said, the push from a BZ to eliminate him. That's how great teams deal with something when you're caught by surprise. They make adjustments on the fly. Part of why they've been one of the better search teams pretty much every year. It's a 3-2 for a phase as we look through the stats real quick. But I know it's 9-7 to seven for a BZ. It doesn't look like that crazy of a stat line. But the opening picks, it's why they win this game are a big part of it. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't know the exact number. But once uh, that's fi fixed. Three, or, three or four. I mean, yeah, it was no, a lot of big ones. For sure. I don't know if it's more. But, yeah, I mean, Cell only dies two times. Simp 
double digits playing on an island, playing around that B site. It was a fun one, and again, New York not out of the tournament quite yet.